welcome back to the channel hope you're well um, if this is your first time to the channel then welcome hope you enjoy what you're about to watch so this week I'm going to do another small gift for um, somebody uh, we're going to see some relatives in a couple of weeks and um, he's quite into his art so he does oil colors water colors and also a bit of drawing so what I want to do is I want to make him something that he could use in his studio to um, put his put his pens and pots or paintbrushes and things like that into. So I don't know if you remember me making this quite a while ago. Obviously, pencils, ideal thing. So I thought what I'd do is I'd make him a pot out of this, no top on it, just an open pot, so he could stand over his brushes or his pencils or whatever into it. But it's not very deep. So what I thought about doing was. I've got this blank here and I thought about rounding this off and then setting that in only perhaps three or four mil, gluing it up and then giving me a small base. Obviously I'm not going to use the whole depth for that, I'll just use part of it, but that'll be a give it a bit of um decent depth and I think that'll give it a better footprint because obviously if you've got brushes sticking out up here, it's gonna be a bit top heavy, so I'm hoping that'll give it a bit better footprint as well. So so let's get this on the lathe and get it rounded up and hopefully rebate it out and get this glued in and hopefully when we're turning this one this won't explode like the exploding bowl did so anyway guys I'll meet you guys over at the lathe so what I'll do roughly there somewhere Right, so we've turned that slightly too big now, but I can't do nothing. I should have really, I should have really rounded this off, um, but I had no way of holding in the chuck. Really, I suppose I could have changed the jaws, put the bigger jaws onto them. Anyway, here and all there. We'll glue that in there now. Um, it's not that far out. We'll try and get it central, and then we'll bring the tail stock up and hold it. Leave it overnight to glue. So let's get some epoxy mixed up and um, get it glued up. So I've got some five minute epoxy here, but I always like to leave it overnight. Hopefully uh, you get a bit better fixing. I don't like to leave it and I don't think five minutes is enough really to give it the abuse you're going to give it when you're turning. So uh, anyway, we're going to give it overnight. Better be safe than sorry. So we're going to give a generous coat. Get it right pushed into the grain. Whatever we've got left, I'm going to stick on the bottom of this one. So we'll get that on there. Move that out of the way. Bring the tail stock up. And just hold it in place overnight. 
Actually, I think I might use this in there. Hopefully, I'll send it up a little bit better. So just push it on nice and tight. So that doesn't go anywhere. And then hopefully that'll dry up. So what we'll do now is we'll leave that till the morning and then we'll come back and uh, start shaping it. Hopefully. It should turn all right. There's no air bubbles in there, so I'm hoping we're going to be okay. I'm not going too thin anyway. I'm just going to bore out the middle with a, a fossil a bit and clean it up and then shape the top. Like I say, there's going to be no lid on it. It's just this is going to be the um, just the rim of the of the pot really. So anyway, we'll leave that overnight and we'll come back to that and see how it looks in the morning. Right. So this has now had. 48 hours to dry because I didn't get a chance to go to it yesterday. So let's get a turn down, get some of these little bits out of it, get a good finish, get our shape on our foot, and then we can uh, get it polished up and cleaned and then clean out the middle. So hopefully, this one will stay in one piece. Look at that bad boy shine. I like, I like. Right, what we'll do now is oh, we will hollow out the centre. I'll get a force in a bit and we'll hollow out the centre and then we'll clean her out. And then we have our pot. What I'm going to do then is just part it off back here to give me a base. It's all about the base, but the base, no way!
Yeah, that looked better. So now I've got a shine on the piece of wood. I'm going to part it, and um, that should be that. I don't want a very big base, so I'm going to part it about 10 15 mil down. So uh, hopefully, we should be good. And hopefully, 